Welcome friends, uh, this video has kind of been a slog to get out. Uh, I had two accounts to test on, a uh, fully done account uh, with all of the Zetas and then my own account of course who has not finished the uh, event yet. Um, and so I was trying to balance, you know, being able to test with all the Zetas versus putting it into effect using low Zetas on my account. I ended up losing a lot of tickets doing this, going through a lot of frustration, but uh, found everything that I could find uh, and found, you know, the best uh, team to use. Uh, there's a lot out there that are like, oh yeah, you should use this team, you should use this team for kind of who the fifth person should be on the team. And I found, unfortunately, with all of the Zetas, that fifth person isn't nearly as important uh, as a lot of people say. Um, so, like, I was able with my all my Zetas on the other account uh, to do, like, Holdo. I was able to do Zori. I was able to do uh, BB-8. I was able to do all kinds of people just in that fifth slot. Uh, whereas, for most people, when it's low Zetas, uh, the best fifth person you're going to be able to use is either Zori or BB-8. Here's the Zetas that you need to absolutely minimum these two Zetas. Uh, I would suggest these four Zetas on GL Ray. And then if you are struggling with killing the guys at the end, I would suggest this one on Resistance Hero Poe. Or if you're struggling with uh, your guys dying too soon, specifically JTR, I would put this one on Resistance Hero Finn next. Now comes the bad news. Unfortunately, a low gear Zori does not work very well for this tier. She just dies off too early. She is better, in my opinion, than BB-8 in this tier, but you need her high gear. At least, you know, gear 11, 5 star would be the minimum I took in. I tested a gear 12 Zori, and it worked really well. So if you have, like, a relic Zori lying around, absolutely use her. It'll help a ton. But I'm going to show you guys BB-8, and basically the strategies are the same for each one. Just to show you my mods really quick, uh, for Ray, I had her at 526 uh, most recently, but she only needs to be 505 maximum. Um, JTR, I tried this trick where I lowered her speed to give her a little bit longer of a taunt. Um, it seemed to help, but it wasn't like game changing, so honestly, high speed or low speed should work. Just make sure she's loaded up with, you know, that survivability. Um, we got 259 speed on BB-8, not the best. Um, obviously my resistance hero is a little high, but you can use him probably like 270, 280, no problem. Uh, and then my hero Poe, it's not the greatest, obviously. So, shouldn't be too bad as long as you have good mods, uh, and you're over that 505 speed, you shouldn't have any problems. There's a lot of nuance to this fight, uh, to be honest. Um, this is going to be shown with this account, which is going to be my friend's account. So he does have all the Zetas. Um, but I didn't want to make this video until I had made sure on that my own account could actually do this battle uh, reliably and effectively before I made this video. Um, I tested a ton on, my, on this account versus my other account and lost a lot of tickets out of it. Um, but figured out how to do this uh, event, you know, regardless of whether or not you have all the Zaders or not. And so I think it was a net game. But we're going to start off with Lifeblood. We got this, uh, this ability here. This is just to make JTR taunt. That is our, our only use for it, is to make JTR taunt. Uh, so we're going to Lifeblood. You can put it on anyone for this first one. A lot of people like to do Finn because he tends to get targeted and is pretty weak. Um, so you want to avoid using the basic on him because he'll actually reduce turn meter off of his basic. Reducing turn meter will increase the health and protection of SLKR or his allies, depending on who you do it to. So we're just going to spam that special ability. Uh, JTR needs her taunt, so we're going to give her taunt. We don't want to use her last ability because it also removes turn meter. And so we want to avoid using our last ability, especially on SLKR. In an emergency, we could use it on the guys on the side, but 
we try to avoid it at all times. We don't want to use the healing immunity just yet because he's not into his health, so we're just going to basic. Uh, we are now going to pass back over to Ray. Ray's going to lifeblood over on JTR, get her nice and tanky, get her ready to take those counterattacks for us, uh, go all in on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, doesn't really matter. Just hit him. Um, so this is where, if you're worried, you can hit one of these guys with your special. And your special will make them beefier, uh, but also will uh, make, make it so that way you get a faster turn. Sorry, my brain's trying to catch up. Um, honestly, I am a little worried because he does have all of his abilities. Um, eh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? Uh, and then we'll get our sudden whirlwind off. That should heal her enough that she can now, you know, use lifeblood and get a second side of the whirlwind. Uh, let's get that lifeblood. She's now into damage immunity. We'll pump her up and cause it so that way you can get another whirlwind off of her. We're always going to use that taunt on her. Uh, now that he's in his health, we could hit him up with the, uh, with the healing immunity. But really, we haven't done much damage to him, so I'm not overly worried. Uh, let's get some more lifeblood over on Ray. Okay, so that AoE is going to be the big thing that heals him. So we're going to want to pay attention to the cooldown of that AoE. His other two abilities will only heal him a little bit. That AoE is what's going to heal him a ton. And so I'm going to do this for now. And then on the next turn that she takes, I'm going to give her uh, give the healing immunity on him. So right here, he's going to be taking uh, a turn with his stun, and then another turn. Honestly, we don't need the healing immunity, because he's not going to have an AoE for two turns. And we got that sudden whirlwind because they went after Finn and she lost her taunt. So that'll be an easy clap right there. And so honestly, we didn't even need our healing immunity on that one. But you're literally just trying to time out that healing immunity with the AoE. So that way you could stop an AoE from gaining him health. Uh, at this point, this is where it gets really messy. Um, this is actually where most people fail. Not while SLKR is alive, but rather after he's dead. This is the problematic zone. Uh, and this is where that Zeta for uh, Poe comes in handy because whenever they crit, they remove buffs at the end of the turn, which includes after the counterattack, they get protection up. They'll just lose their protection up after that. Uh, we now have the healing immunity lying around just to hit these guys so we can kind of prevent them from getting anything. And so he didn't get protection up right there because of that Zeta. He just lost it again because of that Zeta. So that Zeta is going to make this cleanup process so much easier. And I'm telling you that now. Uh, it's not, like, necessary. I've done this without it. But it is so helpful. Uh, now that SLKR is dead, we can do all we want with uh, removing turn meter. Uh, in fact, we're going to want a basic with him. Give him tenacity down. Because now that he has that tenacity down, uh, we can use such things as Pose Kit uh, to be able to get, you know, things like this stun. Um, and so now that he's stunned, he can't counterattack, no protection up, and we can kind of just wail on him now. Uh, we're just going to sudden whirlwind and call it good. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you do end up getting JTR stunned uh, at the beginning, because it does happen, the RNG does not always be perfect, uh, you can use BB-8 or Poe 
to be able to pass a taunt over to JTR, so that way you can keep the fire mm. off of your guys that are much weaker. Uh, JTR is your ultimate taunt. Um, but yeah, as I said, the four Zetas required on her, um, and then if you're struggling with JTR surviving, you're going to want that Finn Zeta. If you're struggling with killing the guys at the end, you're going to want that Poe Zeta. Um, but mm. Honestly, you don't technically need the JTR Zetas. Um, get them when you can. They're obviously great for Ray, but you don't actually need them. 505 speed is how fast everyone is in the event, so you need that 506 on Ray. Uh, that is your bare minimum. Uh, I'm not going to do a battle with Zori just because this video is already running long. Uh, but if you guys want a video of running through with Zori, throw it in the comments section. I can get to it as soon as possible, but I want to drop this as soon as possible to help you guys get that uh, Ray Ultimate as fast as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, subscribe, uh, you know, share it with your friends who are also struggling with this event. And I will see you guys in the next video. The rest of this video is just going to be my attempt with my account with the, only the four Zetas. Just to show you guys how it looks like without the Zetas. Feel free to watch. Sorry for the no audio. I was playing with music at the time and I, I don't really want to get a copyright claim.
merchandise weapon deserves more respect. I want every gun we have. I'm wrong, man.